喂，有你们会不会听到？听到老师，听到老师，嗯，听到老师，好，很好，你们都可以开你的视频，让我看你们的脸。嗯、呃，现在做第一个视频。Can you tell you more? Uh, means grain. You can see the grain. You can see the grain spikes leaning over and the leaves on top and on the bottom. It was probably the most important domestic crop in ancient times. It was make or break, do or die for the ancients. If the crops fail, you die. Li means to harvest. It consists of a he and a knife, dao, used to harvest the grain. Li means to calculate from two grains, he. Planting grain crops or crops of any kind required some complicated planning. How much to plant, when to plant, how much water, where to plant, and when to harvest, etc. Li can also mean thinly spaced, indicating how dense to plant the seeds. Miscalculate any of these and you may die. Li means to calculate, as in the above. There are lots of things to consider in the planting, growing, and harvesting of rice. The remnant han indicates a scythe or sickle, which is used to cut and harvest the crops. Li originally meant to go through and consisted of related phonetic li on top and zhi to walk on the bottom, thus a foot going through and cutting the grain. Shouwen says that han is pronounced like han and means cliff han. It is also the simplification of cheng, which means factory. But in reality, han is just a simple shape and has different meanings in different characters. Li, or li, originally meant to walk through, like jing guo. When you harvest the grain, you walk through and cut the grain. But you also cut it with a sickle, or a scythe, which is indicated by a han. So the character evolved into the character li, and you get the word li shi means history. The character also means to calculate. It was necessary to calculate when and where and how to plant the crops. That is, so that you would have enough grain that you would not starve. Sometimes you may see the character li, which a lot of people will see a heart, xing, at the bottom. But if you look carefully, you see it is not a heart. This is zhi. Calligrapher Zhu Da wrote zhi like this. This is xin. Calligrapher Wang Xi Zhi wrote xing like this. Note how we have this unique, strange character and how a foot, zhi, came to look like a heart, xin. Li is an alternate character for history. Li is a mistake. It should be li, not lin. Almost no one raises forests lin for food. They raise li for food. Li means calendar. In order to calculate when to plant and harvest the crops, they needed to understand the motion of the sun, ri, so they could calculate the calendar. It was necessary to invent a calendar, li, 
by watching the passing motion zhi, of the sun. Zhi. This is so we could know when to plant and harvest li, the crops. Li. So the word for calendar is written li. It is subject to simplification rule B059N. The phonetic li forms the new character li. I call it a new character because before the simplification, this character never existed in any dictionary. Yue Li means lunar calendar. Calculating time by the moon requires no tools. Nomads and many other ancient agrarian people found it easier to tell time using the moon rather than the sun. sun. You can tell within a couple of days by the phases of the moon during the synodic month. By looking at the stars behind the moon, you can calculate the exact day months in advance. This is not possible with a solar calendar unless you have more sophisticated tools. More sophisticated than the average illiterate farmer or nomad would have had. A nomad or poor farmer could easily make an appointment on an exact day months in advance by looking at the moon and seeing which of the 28 lunar mansions it is in. But it would be nearly impossible for a nomad or a poor farmer to calculate the day by looking at which house the sun is in. Li means solar calendar. When it comes to planting crops and not starving, a solar calendar is necessary. There were two main ways to tell the time by the solar calendar. One was by calculating the heliacal rising star and calculating the sidereal year, and the other was calculating the angle of the sun and the northern and southern turning points called the tropical year. Telling the time of day by the sun and the sundial was easy. You can see why the motion of the sun, moon, and stars were so important to the ancients. Nowadays, we use a civil calendar, which is based on the tropical year and in big cities of today, we have children who have never seen a star. The dumb variant rule was corrected by the rule C347. But then they made the really stupid simplification rule B059. And now nothing makes any sense. Scroll slats do. Written materials from the Warring States to the Wei and Jin dynasties were written on narrow bamboo or wooden slips. Pian means table or board or a strip of wood. It comes from a pictograph of a table. It is impossible to draw a pictograph of a board and have people know what it is. But if you draw a pictograph of a table, you can get the idea that it was a board or strip of wood. Du were the wood strips that were used to write on from the ancient times. From a wooden board or strip, pian, and the phonetic yu, which is different from <coughs> mai, which means to sell. Note carefully the difference between the two ancient forms of these two characters. The modern, traditional, and simplified characters are the same, but the ancient forms are not. Just take a look at the differences in these ancient characters. I will explain the logic in another video. Jian originally referred to a single strip of bamboo. Now, it may also refer to a scroll which is made of multiple strips of bamboo or wood. In ancient times, if you wanted to send a short message to someone, like a modern day text message, you might just send them a one strip of bamboo with a simple message on it. Jian Dan means simple. From bamboo, Ju, and the phonetic Jian, meaning time. Jian means arrow. An arrow is not usually made of bamboo, 
but it's usually made of wood, which is kind of like bamboo. It is also pronounced like chen. Uh, huh? Uh, you mean you mean your your winty or she are so what? You mean candidoma? These are the candidoma. Oh, how? Uh, we're in the the. Okay, so my man, so my these are the. So we began the first time, we have a word, and this is grain. You can see the question from John T. to John T. to John T. to John T. There are no more developments. I also see that it looks like it is a word. 米饭，或是麦，都是这样子。然后我们也有一个字读“利”，你你可以说这个是 “harvest”。我们也有一个字读“利息”，利息是 “interest on a loan”。所以你托支一个东西，呃，然后呃，过了一段时间有利。呃，利是一个喝，一个倒，然后一年一次可以获利。你这个关掉就好。嗯。对，我们如果我们有两个利在一起，两个和在一起，这个也读利，因为古代的时候，农夫的生活非常辛苦，如果放太多那个字，呃，会，呃，会呃浪费掉；如果太小，你会饿死了；如果中间在。不对的地方，如果水不够，你也可能会饿死的。所以这个是非常重要的。所以这个字就是变成要计算的意思，要计算要放多少，要计算什么时候要种田，要计算呃什么时候要要收利，呃，这个都是非常重要的。在古代的时候，呃，如果你算错了。You can only do it. So in ancient times, it was important to uh, plant the correct amount of rice or grain in the right place and have enough water and not too much grain or you waste it. And so that you'll have enough grain and you need to know when to plant it, where to plant it, when to harvest it. So this is very important. So the word for calculate is li, which is two grains, he. Uh, 另外一个字是利，你上面看一个勾肩，一个勾肩。如果你看一个字典，他会跟你说这个读寒，他会跟你说那个是山坡的意思。可是。这个是一个很简单的一个构建，所以，呃，可能有的地方是山坡，可是别的地方是呃另另外一个意思。在这个字里面，这是一个镰刀，一个镰刀，英文叫 scythe 或是 sickle。那这个是狩猎的另外一个写写字的这个方法，狩猎的或是利息的，也是利息的意思。So we have this new character, and it was important 
you worked all year to plant the crops and at the end of the year uh, when the crops were just right you harvested them you see here the two he, and which make the character li but on top you see something that looks like a cliff it's not a cliff it's a scythe you use the scythe to cut the grain and harvest the grain so it means harvest it also means to calculate有没有每个汉字都是合理的可是如果你知道它的历史你不知道它的逻辑是什么样的我们看这些字我们看上面的这些字上面的有利这个是计算的意思或是合理的意思可是下面我们在这边我们可以看上面有一个值我们以前的时候是学过这个直直的来源是一个脚在在加古文你可以看那个脚真的像一个脚然后如果你看它的眼边慢慢变成这个直所以这个是走路的意思我们收获的一年一次我们要走路要过那个天然后割那个那个河然后我们要吃的东西 So we use the words the characters that we just studied Li means to calculate it also means to harvest and if we want to harvest we walk through the fields and cut the grain and on the bottom we have a foot and if you look at the oracle character you can see clearly that it's a foot if you look at slowly how it changes you can see how the zhi means a foot and it comes to mean walk so this character means to go through and it can also came to mean the history you go through something you do something and then it comes to mean history so we have uh, the word leisure which means to write down the history and we have this simplification so这个是完全不合理的很讨厌这个韩如果单独的它的意思它的本来的意思是一个cliff一个山坡可是他们建华汉字的时候他们建华一个字那个字读长 那个是一个factory，你可以看上面是有一个房子，里面有一个标音符号。那他们建华变成一个汉这个字，所以这个字现在大部分的人他们读长，他原来的读法是汉。So this simple character you see on the right, originally it meant a cliff. <coughs> on the side of a mountain <coughs> it was pronounced Han when they simplified Chinese characters nothing became simplified they just made it more complicated and the character for factory which was Chang they simplified it to Han and so now everybody pronounces it Chang. Jingguo uh, means to go through.
，哎，有没有人要要说什么？有没有人有问题？嗯、呃，老师。怎么样？啊<咳>嗯、，last time， 呃，这个词是 stop to work， about stop to work， why not walk？ <笑> what？ And this one, why this one is walk？ Why not stop？ 啊、oh.。你说就应该是停下来，停止。对，啊，呃，这个你可以，这个是一个脚，你可以问你自己，这个是一个脚印，或是这个是一个脚。有的地方它是停止的意思，有的地方是有的时候是走路的意思。If you look, you see what looks like a foot, but it could also be a footprint, and so. Sometimes it means to walk, and sometimes it means to stop. In Chinese, we have the word "ting zhi." <coughs> it actually means to stop walking. <coughs> so the original word means walk, but because we say "ting zhi," it means stop walking. So we can. <coughs> We can look at where it is. What character? Oh, Jaben. You can speak. Ah, this one we can see. Yeah, that is a foot. Then you see that the foot is slowly changing to the foot of the head. 你可以看甲骨文的那个脚，指甲骨文的指，确定是一个脚，或是可以确定是一个脚印。If you look at the oracle, it for sure looks like a foot, but it could also be a footprint. A footprint doesn't go anywhere. But when we say 停止 we mean stop walking. So it actually means to walk. But 要看在什么地方用的，有的时候可能是停止的意思，有的时候是走路的意思。You have to look and see where it is, and then decide what it means. Anyway, it's a foot. Yeah. 可以，啊，可以。那，呃，我觉得刚才那个纸那个字呢，很像跑步的。是跑步的。上面，对，跑步的步那个甲骨文是不是也有也有关系？跑步的跑步的步是两个脚<咳>。等一会儿我给你看。哎，这个是。所以这个你可以看，上面有一个脚，上面有一个指，下面有一个指。如果你看甲骨文，有一个是右边的指，有一个是左边的指，一个在上面，一个在下面。现在我们看跑步的步，上面可以是一个清楚的指，可是下面。是另外一个值叫它。So, yeah, we can see that there are two feet, one right, one left, one above the other. And in the modern character, the bottom part is also a foot. Very interesting. Thank you. 有没有别的问题？没有。没有。关掉，就是就按这个这个这个。啊，对对。然、so, 后我们现在看这个上面有一个词<咳>，有的时候你可以看这个“力”是 calculate， 这个字很有意思
你看下面，你会看很多的字里面有一个“心”。你看这个字下面，你可能你的头脑是马上告诉你：“哦，这个是一个心。”可是如果你看清楚，它不是一个“心”，它是一个“知”。可是看得起来不像一个“知”。你看有一个书法家，我很讨厌书法家 ，by the way， 书法家很讨厌。因为他们就是写字，大家都看不到、看不懂。可是有一个书法家叫朱达，他写了纸，他草写写的乱七八糟，看得起来好像一个心。另外一个书法家非常有名的王羲之，你应该知道这个名字王羲之<咳>，他写了一个心，你可以看他写的心。他写的心跟巨大写的直很像<咳>，所以有的时候，你看“立”，你可以看下面的这个“直”是一个奇怪的“直”，在别的字叫不到，看不到这样子写法。<咳>有在下面右边，你也可以看。呃，是那个字，有一个二边，呃，它是啊，我来接，我来接啊，好，它有一个一个林，林是 forest， 可是这个是错的，这个是一个错误，因为林跟离很像，所以很容易搞错了。所以有的时候你可以看一个“零”，一个“之”，一个“含”，这个等于“离”，这个也是一个矛盾。嗯，啊，对。呃，有没有意见？有没有问题？有一个问题。这边学生，啊，对对对，没，好，没问题吗？没有，老师，好，目前没有。好所以，我们算什么时候要中天，这个非常重要的。可是我们这么算。这个时间，这个跟天文学非常，这个跟天文学有关系，跟太阳有关系，所以我们可以用一个日晷来算那个太阳的南边、北边的，或是我们可以看早上的那个星后太阳的后面的星星，然后我们可以计算是呃一年的。什么时候？冬天、夏天、秋天、春天。<咳>所以，我们我们要算那个日历。我们下面写一个日。<咳> so it became extremely important to calculate the time of year, which is very difficult. Now, there are several ways you can do it. You can look at the sun with a sundial, and you can calculate how far north or south the sun is. <clears throat> There's a southern turning point in the winter and a northern turning point in the summer. And so, to write this character Li, which means calendar. We put a sun on the bottom, and then we have the simplification rule. 我们要简化汉字，那个历史的历跟日历的历变成历史的历，然后有另外一个简化的汉字的那两个历，就是变成一个现在的简体字，一个是。C 三四七，一个是 B 零五九
。呃，你看那个 B 零五九，他们简化汉字，他们很常常做了新的汉字，这个简体字从来不存在，他们简化汉字。他们做了有两百一十个新的汉字，所以这个非常荒谬的。嗯、so we have、um, the simplification. We want to calculate the time of year so we can plant the crops in the proper time, so we won't starve to death, and we can either、uh, use a A、um, sundial to calculate how far the sun is north or south, or we can calculate the morning star, the rising star with the sun. Two ways to calculate the year. When they simplified it, they、um, simplified those two characters to the proper character for. History, and then they simplified it, the calendar with the history, and came up with a character that never existed before. In fact, when they simplified Chinese characters, they created two hundred and ten new characters that never existed before. That's how Chinese simplify things. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, 很多汉字写的，我不太懂，你会帮我解释一下吗？好，我看一看。那个是呃，中国人做日历的时候，他只是按照太阳和月亮而已吗？呃，不，就这个，这个，这个，这个，对，双击。啊，点开，就是这下面的字该怎么解释？哦，对，这个因为。那个，我给你放大。啊。呃，我放这个，我放这个日历，我就是要给你看一个例子。如果我将，如果我要将，呃，那个中国的农业，我可以将好久，我可以将好几堂课。这个有很多的秘辛。那个中国人的那个日历有很多的秘辛，所以我不能告诉你全部的。呃，现在我不能告诉你全部的。可是他们有那个，呃，天，嗯，天干天干地支，天干地支是跟日历有关系的。可是这个关系很复杂，所以我不会，呃，短期的跟你说呃这个来源。可是他们。那中国人的，呃，农历就是按照月亮，然后一年，呃，这个月亮的它是从那个新的月亮到新的月月亮是差不多，呃，三十天，是二十九点呃五天，所以有的农历的月有三十天，有的农历的月有。二十九天，可是，一年有十二个月，十二个呃月亮的月，可是这个不到一个不到一年，所以中国的农业，他们差不多三年一次，他们要再加一个月，所以大概三年一次左右，他们一一年会有十三个月。Uh, so the moon, uh, it changes its phases once a month, 
Actually, it changes its phases once every 29 and a half days, about. So some months have 30 days and some months have 29 days. It depends on the moon. And if one year has about 12 months, but it's about 11 days off. So about every three years, they have to add an extra month. This is a leap month. So most Chinese years have 12 lunar months, but about once every three years or so, three or four years, they have 13 months. So this gets a bit complicated. Also, in there's a lot of uh, superstitions that go along with the lunar calendar, like feng shui and uh, ba zi. And so you have a bunch of superstitions in here. I can explain them all, but it will take me a few days. <laughs> so this is basically how the lunar calendar works. And then it updates once a year. And I could go on about the lunar calendar for quite a while, but that's some of the basics. Oh, and the other picture I just gave you, like a Yobian, the Tasher Pope Gregory, Tazola Shindai, the Nega Early. The picture on the right was a picture of Pope Gregory. He was the Catholics for a while. They had pretty good scientists back in the 1500s, uh, and they changed the calendar. And that's another long story. <clears throat> so, some Chinese characters we need to look at sideways. If we look at this character from the right hand side, we can see that it looks like a table. Uh, you can't draw a picture of a, a piece of wood and have somebody recognize it. But if you draw a picture of a table, they will recognize that it's maybe a piece of wood. Good day, this is Jungren, Taman Yong Ju Pian, Xiezi, Jiga Jiao Ju Jian, or Shi Yi Pian Mu Tsai, Da Shi Jiao Du. So in ancient times, the Chinese used wood strips to write on. And one of these wood strips is called a du. And on the left, you see uh, a thing that, a symbol that indicates that it's a board or a piece of, a piece of wood. And on the right, you have a phonetic. Uh, Yang on the right hand side you see the word my which means to sell on the left hand you see the character 
e, which means, which originally meant to brag. The modern characters are written the same, but the ancient characters are different. And if you see the character my in any other character, like do, do means to read. Uh, it has a different uh, origin. I'll go into that in, in another class. So let's see. How do you make a picture? How do you draw a picture of simple? <coughs> well, good day to show Damio. Scroll. In ancient times, they had a scroll which is made of strips of wood or bamboo. If you had one of those, it was simple. If you had a bunch of them, it was complicated. <音><音>有很多的东西是斑布之交的所以这个是说跟斑布有关系的下面有一个字读简简是时间的简好像我以前的时候说过这个字可是这个就是在这边就是一个标音符号我们也有可以用这个字说简单现在现代的中国人他们
。OK， 这个是呃、uh, ，good， 这个逻辑是 e 跟 do， 本来呃两千年以前他们的读法一样，所以这个标音标音符号 e， 它本来。读呃跟读一样，所以这个它就是一个标音符号，它我们不知道它的逻辑是吗？嗯，问你这个字原先原先原先那个字是好像啊、oh, ，insect with the crowd。啊，对，就是这个这这片，就刚才是木片儿，对木片或者书籍，监督什么啊？就是木片儿。Okay. So, its original meaning was a strip of wood. Uh, okay. So its original meaning was a strip of wood, which was also how they made books. Yeah. But how? Oh, the meaning become black. 那个古代的写写古代的，嗯哼，古代的写法。嗯，对。那个就是我不明白为什么 become 呃 ，the meaning become black or sad. 呃，你说为什么那个 my 跟 e 是不同的写法吗 ？Yeah, from the ancient word, ancient, uh, character. 呃，这个这个 e 有不同的观点，不知道这个很难说为什么他们写的这样子。我们可以确定是一个标音符号。可是他单独的逻辑是不容易说，那个 my 比较容易说 ，my 是 sell 的意思。<咳>你可以看下面有一个，他可以给他们哦。好像现在已经看到这个字。哦，哦，对，你们现在可以看到。<咳>呃，这个，这个 e， 这个是一个标音符号，是一个 phonetic。有两千年以前，它读的跟读一样，现在读的不一样。那个 my means to sell。my 的逻辑是比较清楚的，是有很多的贝壳，在一个。网子里面，在一个袋子里面，然后他去去了，他离开了。可是玉的逻辑是不容易说，我们有不同的人，有不同的观点。我就是跟你说，这两个字在繁体字跟简体字，他们写的一样，可是他们的来源是不一样。So the if you see it in the word do. It doesn't have anything to do with cell. It's a phonetic, <clears throat> and if you look at the ancient character, it was written differently than my to sell. The character for to sell, we can explain it logically, but the character for to brag is not so easy to explain. Scroll. The bamboo strips were called du or jian. 
If many of them were woven together into a scroll, they were called tsu. If we look at the ancient character for tsu, we find that it is a pictograph of a tsu. Tsu means book or pamphlet. It is a pictograph of a set of bamboo slats woven together with string. It is subject to variant elimination rule C052. This is how Chinese wrote for several thousand years until they invented paper in the latter part of the Han Dynasty. Bian or pian means flat tablet or signboard. From the slats of a scroll, tse, which fold over, kind of like a door, hu. Bian dan means a shoulder pole, and pian zhe means a flat bottom boat. Pian means a collection of pages from bamboo, zhu, and the related phonetic, bian, meaning pages. Shi pian means psalms or a collection of poems. Bian means to edit or put together into a book. Bian zhi means to weave or to knit. Shan means to erase. They did not have erasers in the old days. They would take a knife and scrape the ink off of the wood or bamboo slats. The character comes from a knife, dao, and a scroll, tsu. It is subject to variant elimination C512. In order to erase a jian, you had to use a knife to scrape off the ink. Shan chu means to delete. Lun means the correct order or to read a scroll. The top part, ji, is an inverted mouth above, indicating that the person is looking down and reading the scroll, tsu. It is subject to the simplification rule B071N. Lun is a new character formed by strokeifying the cursive character. The remnants B and Ren have nothing to do with the original logic. Lun means having to do with mountains. It is subject to the variant elimination rule C382 and the simplification rule B071. The Shan indicates that it is something to do with mountains and the Lun is just a phonetic. Kunlun Shan is a famous mountain range in western China. Dian means dictionary and comes from scroll, tse, and table, ji. Zi dian means a Chinese character dictionary. Zi dian means a Chinese word dictionary. And zi dian means a Chinese word dictionary and thesaurus. Scroll bamboo, bun. Ge means one of. It comes from a stalk of bamboo and is used for its pronunciation. Zhu comes from two stalks of bamboo. When found at the top of a character, it indicates that it has something to do with bamboo. There are many characters with a bamboo radical, zhu, on top. In most cases, there is a clear relationship to bamboo. The following cases are related to bamboo scrolls and may not be obvious to the average observer. Bun means stupid. From bamboo, chu, and phonetic root, bun. This indicates a person who cannot read the bamboo slats. Da means bean. It is a kind of plant, cao. The logic comes from the fact that the bean consists of two parts put together. He. Da is an answer written on some bamboo slats. Zhu. It is phonetically influenced by the character da, which is a reduced phonetic. Notice that I say influenced. It is not exactly that it is a reduced phonetic. It also looks like the character for bean and is pronounced like the character for bean. Hui da means to answer. Qian means to sign something. It comes from bamboo slats on top, zhu, 
and phonetic chen, which means together. It was simplified by rule A196, which is a substitution of an entirely different character. Chen Ming means to sign your name. Chen means toothpick <coughs> or a strip of wood. From bamboo, zhu, and phonetic, xian, which means a leak. It is subject to the simplification rule A196, which makes it into a different character altogether. Zhu Qian is a box of I Jing bamboo sticks from which you can draw a stick and use the I Jing to cast your fortune with. Ya Qian means toothpick. Xiao means to laugh. Zhu means bamboo, which often means bamboo scrolls of old. Yao, meaning a young person, is usually thought to be a phonetic. But in older versions, we see the character dog, Quan. It must have seemed pretty funny to see a dog try to read a book, so it is probably the original meaning. Uh <laughs> 我跟你说一个字一个字我们现在有一个字读册在现代的汉语一个字这是一个小书或是一个pamphlet在古代的时候我们写字中国人写字写书 他们没有纸，中国人是发明纸，在呃汉代的时候，差不多公元后两百年左右。可是古代的时候有几千年，他们写在纸卷上面的，然后他们会编在一起的，变成一个册。我们看下面的那个字，那个状体字，经文、甲
，就是说他好像一片木材，呼，因为他会翻过来，好像一个门一样。<咳>我们有几个字，一个是扁担，扁担是一个 shoulder pole， 有另外一个字是。扁舟，扁舟是一个 flat bottom boat， 在、哦、谢谢，在河里面的一个舟，我们要它的下面是平的，可是，在海里面的，如果有平的，那个下面的就是可能会淹水，非常危险的。So in the jointy zi, you can see the jointy zi in the bottom. So we have this character, bian or, or pian. It means a flat tablet or a signboard or a collection of pages. It consists of the character for、uh, the character zi, which means scroll, and、uh, the character hu.、Uh, The scroll indicates that it's like made of wood, and the hu indicates that it can fold over, kind of like a door. A door is also flat. And we have the character bian dan, which means a shoulder pole. You've all seen Chinese with a shoulder pole, and we have also pian zhou, which means a flat bottom boat. <clears throat> I'll tell you a story. There was a famous Chinese emperor. Well, actually, he was not Chinese. He was a Mongolian. His name was Kublai Khan, and he was a nasty guy. And he would invade all his friends and kill all the people around him. He tried to invade Japan on three different occasions. On one occasion, actually, on、uh, on all three occasions. On one occasion, he made a whole bunch of boats, and he decided to go invade Japan. But the boats he made were river boats; they had flat bottoms. And so, when a hurricane came up, they、uh, all these boats sunk, and his whole navy drowned. So that was one time that the Chinese invaded Japan. Well, actually, they they weren't Chinese; they were Mongolians. And everybody, everybody drowned. And it was because of the typhoon. So, the Japanese called a typhoon. They changed the name. They before they used the word typhoon, which means typhoon. But then they called it kamikaze. Kamikaze means the divine wind, the divine wind that saved Japan. In the Second World War, they also had kamikazes. They were the fighter pilots that would commit suicide by、uh, driving their planes into foreign ships. So this is a story. This is a Pianzhou story. Ah, you have another word, do Pian. 这个是上面的有一个句子头，下面有一个边，下面是一个标音符号，<咳>可是跟还是跟数有关系的。这个是呃一些是呃是呃连在一起的，所以我们可以翻译是 Psalms 或是 a collection of poems。So, 我们看这个字，下面是一个标音符号，上面是句子头。还有另外一个字，编。我们写书，我们要常常要修改那个书，我们也要呃把那个书封起来。所以左边我们有一个四字旁，这个是说是用线字。然后右边有一个标音符号。也是表意符号，读编，所以编织 mean 就是 to weave or knit. So the third character we have 编 which means to 
edit or put a book together. In ancient China, when you put a book together, you had to weave it together. You had to weave the uh, wooden or uh, bamboo slats together with thread. So you have a thread si on the side and a bian, uh, which means book on as a phonetic. So we have the Chinese word bian zhi. It means to weave a book together or to weave clothes together. So it means to weave or knit. <clears throat> Ah. David Chi, uh, I'll回来。我说那三个字,有没有问题? 词或是编或是偏。好,我们看下一个字。这个这么空虚，这个啊，这个啊，所以我们看这个字典下面的这个点，就是字典的点。我们看是有一个鸡，这是一个鸠字，还有一个侧，就是。一本书，这是旧卷连在一起。如果我们看《庄体子》，我们看是一个侧，在一个旧字的上面。可是有的汉字他们会慢慢变他们的逻辑。如果我们看呃经文，我们不不容易说是什么东西。如果我们看甲
呃，有没有意见？有没有问题？啊，不好，不好意思，老师，我看不清楚第三个词，呃，词典吗？也是词，哎，看不清楚。啊，这个，这个词，他们读法一样，完全一样，也很、啊、可能，可能很多的人不知道这个分别，他们基本是一样的东西。呃，可是如果说清楚那个第二个词典，呃，这个也是一个 thesaurus， 他们会给很多的字。同那个同样的意思的字，一个第二个字典比较复杂，可是很多的人以为这两个字是一样，因为他们读的一样。So the two characters, they're technically different, but many people probably think they're the same, and they are the same because they're pronounced the same, basically. Anyway, uh. If, a tsidian only discusses single characters, and a tsidian discuss, discusses Chinese words. When I say Chinese word, I mean something with more than one character. Ming Bai. Ah, yes, yes. Since I remember. Ah. So we now have to study you have to learn Chinese words. You all have to study a Chinese person's life in the old days. Because in the old days, they don't have to study. They can't study the same language. They must use a stone. Because the stone is in the stone. 他们必须用一个刀子刻那个模，然后再写新的新的字。所以他们有一个字，读山，山就是 erase 的意思，就是一个刀，还有一个刺。然后他们也有一个简化的一个方法，是 C 五一二。呃，我们可以看有现在的字，我们不会说山，我们用电脑的时候我们说删除，删除是 delete 的意思。我们今天就是说第一个字，这是一个刺，一个刀。嗯、呃，然后出也是要丢掉的意思。可以看那个专题字，左边是一个刺，右边是一个刀。So when we think about Chinese characters, we always want to think about what life was like in ancient China. And before they invented paper, they wrote on bamboo strips with ink, <clears throat> not pencil lead. They didn't have erasers. So if they wanted to erase something, they had to use a knife. <clears throat> so you see, the character here is a Dao on the right hand side and a Tsi, which indicates there are two characters that indicate the meaning. You have the simplification rule C512, but we study in this class, I teach about characters. Tzu. On the right hand side, you hear you have a tsi or character combination or word. In modern Chinese, when we speak Chinese, we usually use more than one character for a word. So if we want to delete something on a computer, we say shan shu. We erase and throw it away, delete. And you see the seal character which has a scroll on the left and a knife on the right. So, you have any questions? Do you want to talk about it? Teacher. Can you explain the word? 
呃，词典的点吗？词典的点，呃，那个。对，哦，刚才老师说上面呃是册，那么下面部分是机，是一个桌子，是吗？对。然后我我看了一下词典，他们说呃，甲骨文里面上面是册。那么下面是弓，就是刚才像老师说的那个甲骨文是有两个手，呃，可以看到有两个手，呃，拿着那个呃册，所以下面是鸡，嗯，鸡，等一会儿我下面我看，嗯。对，所以有这个，有的时候这个改变不是一个很大的改变，也它的逻辑不，它的基本的逻辑不是改变的。可是专体字，你可以看是下面是一个九字，呃。经文很难说是什么东西，大概有一个二变。甲骨文你可以看是一个手，然后有的时候你可以看到下面有一个儿，呃，一个 two。这个是你可以用你自己的想法，这个是什么东西？这个可能是这个不知道为什么，有的时候我们不会完全说这个逻辑，可是。不管那个字在桌子上，或是这个，或是在呀、啊、那个书里面，还是一样的意思。好的，老师。对、嗯。嗯。嗯。对，我们现在讲一个，哦，我刚刚，对我现我现在呃，我们现在要讲一个新的字“轮”，呃，如果看这个字上面有一个“吉”，我们有很多的字里面，呃，有一些字里面可以看到上看到上面那个这个“吉”的字。如果你看，大部分的人会跟你说这个是。呃，很多的，可是他们是错的。大部分的这个，大部分的时候，这个“鸡”的来源就是一个刀口，所以我们有一个刀口，然后一个刺。我们看这个“论”，“论”是“度”的意思，也是那个顺数的意思。然后他们变化，哦，他们用，呃，呃。那个 rule， 呃 ，b 零七一，然后他们做一个新的一个字，读 lun。So if we look at the ancient character on the top, we find what is a g, and almost every book you read, they will tell you that g means a collection of, and that's wrong. If you look at all of the characters that have g on top. Almost all of them, in almost all cases, it's an inverted mouth. It's somebody saying something. So here we are have somebody reading the scroll. They have a. <coughs> they are looking down on the scroll, and their mouth is reading the scroll. So lun means to read, uh, to read a scroll. 这个“轮”这个字也可以做一个表音符号。如果放一个“山”在旁边，这个是可以代表一种山。有一个字读还有“山”跟“轮”，然后这个字有的时候
，我们做一个汉字的形声字，有的时候是左边、右边的，有的时候是上面、下面的。在这个情况下，我们可以呃有那个一体字，我们可以随便在右边、左边，或是上面、下面。可是他们简化这个字，他们用那个简化规矩，呃 ，C 三八二，然后他们又简化，呃，用那个 B 零七一 N。<咳>在中国是，在中国有一个非常有名的山，呃，叫昆陵山。昆陵山是在中国的西部。在四川，呃，跟西藏那边的，所以你们应该知道这个昆，呃，昆仑山。So on the right we have a new character that uses Lun as a phonetic. You see a mountain and a Lun, so this is some kind of a mountain. <coughs> In Chinese, we have a kind of character called a pictophonetic. Part of it is a phonetic, and part of it indicates what it is. So you have, when you have a pictophonetic, it's usually right, left. So you, here we have a mountain on the left, phonetic on the right. But in some cases, we can have it top and bottom. In this case, either one will do. So left, right, or top, bottom. <coughs> In China, we have a famous mountain range called Kunlongshan. It's in western China and in Sichuan and、uh, Tibet. So it's pretty famous. If you come to China, you should go there. We have. Variant elimination rule C three eight two, and simplification rule B zero seven one n. So, 有没有问题或是意见？ <coughs> 你们有没有人在这边？有没有人是看过那昆仑山？你来中国，你应该去看。太危险了，我都没去的。太危险。Too dangerous。嗯，我的朋友说是太危险。中国有一些爬山的地方。是非常有名的，也是很多的人去那边，可是也可以说是危险的。呃，中国有喜马拉雅山。呃 ，in in China we have a number of places that are tourist attractions that are actually rather dangerous. And、um, so if you come to China, America is A country for wusses. They don't have any tourist attractions in America that are actually dangerous, but in China they have some、uh, tourist attractions that are actually rather dangerous. <clears throat> you can come here and see them. Ah, <clears throat> woman, Jishu. <咳>你可以看这个歌，歌是一个句子的一个，然后然后有另外一个竹，这个是半步，两个，这个大部分是在上面<咳>。我们有一个很有名的、很有用的词叫“笨”。笨就是 stupid 的意思。上面有一个猪，呃，下面有一个笨，就是
一个根的意思，也是一个表音符号。<coughs> Most、uh, Uh, in in Chinese, you'll see many characters that have a jujito or a bamboo on top. <coughs> Most of the time, these characters are related, clearly related to bamboo, but sometimes they're not. Until you think for a while, what does stupid have to do with bamboo? <coughs> And we remember that in ancient China. They read. In order to read, you had to read bamboo slats. So someone who could not read bamboo slats was considered stupid. <clears throat> so that's the logic of the word stupid. Uh, 这边有一个词，有的时候我们上面有一个，好像一个竹子头，可是这是一个草字头。有一个字读达，它的意思是 bean， 它是一个草字头，还有一个和，和是两个东西连在一起，和。所以如果你看一个达，一个豆子。它，你你会把它打开、裂开了，就是两个部分。所以这个是 b e i n 的逻辑，大的逻辑<咳>。可是有另外一个字，呃，就是回答的“答”，上面有一个句子头，下面有一个“和”。这个“和”是什么样的逻辑？这个“答”，这个“豆子”的“答”是印象。呃，回答的答，这个关系是有一点复杂，所以我说 it influences the character for the answer <咳>。我，然后我们有一个一个字一个词<咳>叫呃回答，大部分的时候，如果我们说话，我们要说回答就是 to give an answer <咳>。So we have a character which means bean, and we have on the top we have a grass radical that indicates it's a plant, and on the bottom we have a he. Usually, people look at the character he and they think, well, it's something. It's a pot with a lid, so it's a a, a pot and a lid and it comes apart. So it's kind of like a bean. A bean plant, it breaks into two pieces, and、uh, so it represents the bean. So that's the logic of the bean. <clears throat> Then we have another character, da, which looks the same, looks similar. On the top, you have a ju, which means it has something to do with reading. And、uh, <clears throat> but on the bottom, we have a he. And it's pronounced da. So it's hard to explain the logic. I say this character was influenced by the bean character. It's not exactly a reduced phonetic, but it was influenced by the bean character. But when we speak Chinese, we usually say hui da, which means to answer. <咳>啊，现在只有五分钟，啊，呃，十分钟，啊 ，OK， 呃、uh, ，I'll move along here. <咳> maybe we'll get done early. Maybe about the same. <咳> Now here we have a complicated character. It, ah,、uh, 我们在这边有一个一个字比较复杂一点，钱<咳>，这个是。有几个不同的意思，呃，上面是有一个句子头，所以应该跟句子有关系。我们看这个字，大部分的时候是签名的意思，所以古代的时候我们签名在句子头，可是这个字不是一个古代的字，这个比较复杂一点。<咳>
。我们说话的时候，我们可以说签名，签名就是献礼的名字。可是 good day 的时候，我们有这个右边的字，<咳>我们看有一个 j 然后有一个先，先是一种植物，英文叫 leek。所以我们有，呃，铸剑<咳>。在中国有很多的人相信易经，易经是一个算命的一个方法。然后，如果你去一个庙，你有的时候可以看一个盒子，里面有很多的，<咳>呃，一件一件的，一条的，你可以选择一条，然后你可以看一件。然后可以算命，这个条子是叫九千。另外，另外一个我们是有有呃牙签，牙签英文叫 toothpick。我们看下面的那个标音符号，<咳>这个字读先，它本来是一个 leak 的意思。今天我们不说它的逻辑。我们就是看那个字。So here we have a, a, some complicated, kind of complicated characters.、Uh, we have the character Chen means to sign your name. It has a Juzito、uh, on the top, which would indicate in ancient times that you might be signing something on a on a, a bamboo slat, and it has a phonetic. Which means together, Qian. So in modern Chinese, we say Qian Ming. It means to sign your name. And、uh, <clears throat> but we have a simplification rule, rule A one ninety six. So it comes. There's another character that gets mixed in here. That character is also pronounced Qian, and it can mean either a toothpick. Or a strip of wood. It has a bamboo ju on the top, and the character xian, which means leak, on the、uh, bottom. That's a phonetic. So we have the word ju ju xian. And in in China, we have a book called the I Ching, which you can cast your fortune with. And one way to cast your fortune is you can pull some sticks out of a box, and see which one you get. One out of sixty-four, one of the、uh, I Ching symbols, and then you can see what the number on the stick is, and you can cast your fortune. Those sticks are called, you can call them bamboo sticks, or we can call them I Ching sticks, or we can call them Ju Chen. And then there's a word Ya Chen, which means toothpick. So this gets a bit complicated because we have three words, three characters that form and different meanings that come into one character in Rule A, one ninety six. So okay, wrong name and win win team. 就是有个有个同学问，就是你你先把这个给取消。呃，有有一个同学问，就是说“个”已经是简化字了，繁体字是“个”，为什么甲骨文“个”和已经简化出来的是一样的？呃，为什么 ？Yeah， 嗯、um, ，说是这样的。对，那个，说他说，呃，“个”是“个”的简化字。对，为什么就甲骨文里面就有这个字？为什么有有这个字？对。Okay. Uh, fantasy 的时候，他们用一个 fantasy 的歌。这个是一个抽象的一个东西，跟旧剑、跟呃板布没有关系的。他们有一个、两个、三个的歌，所以他们发明一个字。这个是说一个人、两个人、三个人，所以他们有一个人字旁。这个是一个新生字。这个是合理的<咳>，可是有的人觉得他们简化汉字，他们觉得这个太复杂，所以他们简化到完全另外一个字，读“个”，完全不一样。
就是它的读法一样。So when they simplified Chinese, they decided that the、uh, one, two, three, 一个两个三个 the the traditional character they decided was too too complicated. So they simplified it to a character that was pronounced the same, but had nothing to do with the meaning. And they found an ancient character "ge," which meant <clears throat> a node of bamboo. So it's just basically an accident.、Uh, they have this character in ancient Chinese in Jiaguan. This one, I haven't. Your one, I haven't. Ah. You now look at this. 一个两个三个的个，也不是普通的繁体字的一个两个的个。There's actually three common characters. The character you see here here is a less common 繁体字 a less common traditional character. And on the bottom you have a piece of bamboo. This is never used as a 一个两个三个的个。嗯，啊，时间差不多，你们有没有问题？没有，没有问题，时间可以吗？啊，四十八分，对对对。Okay, so if, if there's no questions, uh, you get off two minutes early. The last one I didn't.、Uh, okay, I'll, if if there if there's no questions, I'll let you out of class two minutes early. May you want to, ma? Ah. May you want to, teacher. Ah, next week, see you again. Ah, thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.